Hey everyone, Into Weapons back again with you. Wanted to do a quick unboxing and overview of a new rifle that I picked up. It's the Smith & Wesson MMP1522 rifle. Very popular rifle on the market. Uh, I purchased this on grabagun.com, which gave me a, a fairly reasonable price. I think the base price was $429. After taxes, background check, transfer fees, all that good stuff together, uh, it was a total of $482. So anything under $500 for this particular rifle is pretty decent. The MSRP listed on Smith & Wesson is $519, so uh, not a bad deal. Uh, you can't find these locally. They are drying up, so if you, if you are looking for one and you uh, want to pick one up, uh, these haven't been price gouged, fortunately, as far as I've seen at my local dealers. Uh, but you will pay a little bit more of a premium if you purchase it from a local dealer. At least in my area, that's what I've been finding. Uh, inside the box here, it is just a standard cardboard box, uh, which a lot of Smith & Wesson rifles that come uh, in this nature come with. Um, inside you have the owner's manual, which is pretty standard. Uh, you have the key guard lock, which is, again, pretty standard. It does come with a 25-round detachable magazine. Uh, which is uh, nice for this gun. Uh, if you don't get this, you're probably living in California and you get the 10 round magazine, which uh, are also available. It does also have uh, you know, your, your protection for Smith & Wesson, which it does come with a lifetime warranty. And uh, of course, help uh, NRA fight for you, join NRA. Um, inside the, the box here with the gun itself, I'll just kind of go over the specifications of the gun. Uh, it is SKU number 811033. There really is three uh, variations of this rifle, excluding the different colors and the California compliancy, etc. Uh, what you have is the first model, which I don't unfortunately have the SKU number for you guys, but it's the bare minimum basic model. It does not come with a threaded barrel or a uh, muzzle brake on it. Uh, this one is, like I mentioned, SKU number 811033, which is the next step up. It comes with a threaded barrel and an A1 style compensator. And then the third variation that you can buy is the uh, 1522 uh, MOE, which comes with the Magpul uh, accessories, the Magpul stock, the Magpul um, grip, the Magpul iron sights, etc. I chose not to go that route, even though it was only, I think, $50 or $60 more, uh, just because I thought I would you know, do more of the customization myself. But I did know that I wanted the uh, threaded barrel so I could you know, put a compensator on there if necessary, uh, or at least keep the one that's on there. At least you have an option. Uh, so it is 22 long rifle, obviously. It's got the 25 round detachable magazine. It is a uh, blowback semi-auto action. It's got a 16 inch barrel length, uh, barrel twist of 1 and 15 inches. Uh, it has an adjustable A2 post front sight, as you can see up there, and it has a adjustable dual aperture in the rear here, which is nice for long and short distance that so you can just flip back and forth. Uh, these are quick releases with these little dials here. Um, it has an overall length of 33.75 inches extended or 30.5 inches with the uh, collapsed stock. The stock itself is a six, six position stock which is kind of nice so uh, this particular rifle my wife will do a lot of shooting with and uh, to be able to shorten it up for her is a, is a real plus. Uh, the total weight is 5.5 pounds so it is a very light polymer gun. It does have a carbon steel barrel which is nice. Uh, I do not believe it's chrome lined. It, it doesn't mention anything about that, so I don't believe that's an, uh, one of those issues. Uh, it has a matte black finish, as you can see. It does have the threaded barrel with the A1 style compensator. The uh, threads on this are one half inch by 28 inch thread. Uh, it has a two position received amount safety lever, as you can see. It's got the safe and the fire. You are, I believe, able to buy an aftermarket uh, upgrade to make that ambidextrous if you'd like. Or I believe you can also flip this if you're a lefty. Um, it does have a functioning charging handle, much like any other AR-15, which is really nice. Uh, you, you generally don't find that in a lot of 22 style rifles that are trying to uh, match the AR-15 look. It does have a bolt catch, much like an AR-15, which is really nice. And I'll go ahead and uh, give you an idea of how that works. Just pulling the, the uh, charging handle back, locking it into place. And you can see the, the bolt is held open. And then uh, using the paddle to release it, throws the uh, bolt forward just like an AR-15. So real nice to be able to train with this gun uh, in a cheap manner if you have an AR-15 rifle that's very similar to this. Um, and that, that's pretty much it, guys. It's uh, you know a pretty straightforward, simple rifle. It's got the Smith & Wesson logo here. It's got the serial number, uh, the model 1522 caliber 22 long rifle, safe fire. Over on this side, it's got the MMP 1522 logo, which is real nice. 
Uh, in comparison, they don't make this gun any longer. I think it was only on the market for a year, but you can also get, uh, if you can still find it, the 1522P, which is the pistol version of this gun. And uh, I do have some videos out there already of this particular gun. I've had it for a while. Again, I don't think they make them anymore, but uh, it is a really fun gun, so if you're able to find one, um, you know, pop on it as, as fast as you can. Uh, the one thing that I would like to do, and I certainly don't know if I'm going to or not, just because of um, taking two guns and really making it one gun, but I believe you can take the uh, upper receiver off this and attach it to the lower receiver of this and make it a really cool short barrel rifle. I'm certainly not going to do it right now on camera, nor would I do it without paying the $200 tax stamp that's required from the BATFE. Uh, otherwise, you are uh, obviously making an NFA violation. <laughs> that's certainly something that you don't want to mess around with. But... Uh, as you can imagine, these two pieces come together very easily, and that would make one really cool short barrel rifle. Um, again, you're taking two guns and making it into one gun, uh, and I don't know the legalities of you know switching it back and forth once you do have the $200 tax stamp, but that's uh, certainly something to look into maybe down the line if you are able to switch it back and forth and keep two guns um, separated uh, legally. Um, that's pretty much it guys, I'll get out to the range as soon as possible and do some firing with this thing, but uh, I do look forward to uh, shooting it, it's a fun gun. I bought this really uh, because of the uh, current market conditions, they're, coming, they're becoming harder to find. I'm sure everything will blow over and you'll be able to get everything that you can get now. Uh, I don't really foresee there being a whole lot of gun ban um, restrictions coming in, but you never know, you really never know. It all comes down to how the, the cookie crumbles. So. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I really appreciate you watching, and uh, take it easy. Thanks.